she whispered. That's what a perfect moment sounds like. And with the lighting of our candle, it reminds us that Jesus was the light of the world. Let's begin our collective worship together. for happiness it often has disguises and goes by different names some days it seems to be hiding while on others it's right there with you wherever you go You can try to understand it, collect it, or protect it. You can try to catch it, but most of the time, happiness appears to have a will of its own. And sometimes it may feel as if there are too many things that get between you and happiness. It's not always easy, but when you find your way through, happiness will be there waiting. When you do find it, start following. See where it will take you. Happiness may be different from what you expect, or feel a little scary at first, but it will let you find new paths, enjoy your time with family and friends, and do the things you love to do. You can't feel happy all the time. You might feel overwhelmed by your feelings and that you can't always control them, but you can find your way back home. Just breathe. In that quiet moment, you will realise you don't have to keep looking for happiness. 
It was always there. Recognise it and treasure it, because in the end, happiness begins with you. Let's hear from Douglas. Being greedy can be straight up dangerous. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about greed. Greed is like a selfish desire for more and more stuff. It's where all you're thinking about is getting more stuff and keeping the stuff that you've already got. And honestly, I saw a kind of scary example of greed the other day because, well, okay, so the day after Thanksgiving, there's this other kind of holiday. It's not quite a holiday, but it's a thing that happens at all these stores. It's called Black Friday. And on Black Friday, all these stores, they've got all these crazy, crazy deals, you know, things like 50% or 80% off, and you can go get a lot of stuff for really, really cheap. And they open their doors really early, and so people, like, camp out on Thanksgiving night. They'll go get, like, tents and stuff and camp out in front of the door of these these stores. And then when the doors open, they run in. So my aunt, she um, she likes to go Black Friday shopping, and she asked me if I wanted to go too, and I saw an ad for these headphones that I really wanted, and they were, like, 80% off, and I thought... Well, yeah, that sounds great. And people had told me what it was like, but I did not realize how crazy Black Friday can be. So we didn't camp out, but we did get up early and we went to the store and there was a huge line of people and we were kind of scooching our way trying to get to the front. And then when the door opened, they just went running in as fast as they could and it was like a stampede of people. And all the employees at the store, they just looked so scared of all these people. There's all these people and Man, people just kind of got this look in their eye like like they were crazy or something. Like they were going to punch you in the face for some cheap oven mitts. And so I'm running around. I'm trying to follow my aunt. And we're, we're going as fast as we can trying to get back to the electronics so I can get these headphones. And honestly, she doesn't even always necessarily like to get something. She just likes to be in the craziness. My aunt is kind of crazy. And so we were going back there. We were going to get these headphones. And, and people are running and knocking stuff down. And it looked like a war zone in there. It was crazy. And we finally get back to the electronics. And there's all these people around this big stand where there was the headphones that I wanted and I go and I try to I grab a box of the headphones and I start walking away and I'm kind of bumping into people and this lady straight up rips the box of headphones right out of my hands and then runs off and I was like what hey no 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 and I turn around and I went to go get another box and they were all gone so I went all that way and went in this whole big craziness for nothing We didn't even end up buying anything. We just got out of there so we didn't get crushed or mauled or attacked or something. And on our way out, we saw more of the same. People just running around and people throwing stuff in their carts. And there were people throwing things in their carts and they didn't even look at what they were grabbing. They just saw a sign that said 80% off and they grabbed stuff and they dump a whole bunch of them into their cart. I saw a lady with a cart full of oven mitts. She had like 50 oven mitts. Who has 50 hands that needs 50 oven mitts? It's just crazy. And here's the thing. I'm not saying that if you go Black Friday shopping that you're a bad person. That's not the case. I, you know, my aunt, I love my aunt. She's, she's fun and she's crazy. But I don't, I don't think she's a bad person for wanting to go to Black Friday shopping. But I think that Black Friday kind of shines a light on how a lot of us feel inside our hearts. That we feel that stuff is the most important thing. All we want to do is get more and more stuff and just keep it. We just want stuff. I think a lot of us, our whole lives revolve around our stuff. There are some people who get their whole identity from their stuff. You know, having the right clothes or having the right gadgets or that sort of thing. They, they revolve their whole life around stuff. But Jesus said that life is more than just stuff. And stuff doesn't even last. We should be focusing on things that do last, like our relationship with God. Now again, I'm not saying that if you have stuff that you're an evil person and that you can't have a relationship with God. But I am saying that if you put stuff before God or even other people... That's not good. You might have a problem with greed. And so my challenge to you guys today is not that you would not go Black Friday shopping, although you should be careful. Don't get trampled or anything like that. And not only should you be careful for your physical safety going Black Friday shopping, but you should be careful about your heart. My challenge to you guys is that you would examine your heart and ask yourself, is my life about stuff? Or am I focusing my life on what actually matters? Let's all do our best to not be greedy and to make sure that we focus on what's really important. And that's our relationships with God and other people. Happiness comes from within. It comes from within us. And most of the things that make us truly happy doesn't cost a thing. Most of the things
to the things that make us happy. It doesn't involve money. Time for a prayer. And if you'd like this prayer to be your prayer, it's Amen at the end. You're welcome to put your hands together. Or if this prayer isn't for you, then think about where does your happiness come from? Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you that you are a giving, sharing God. Help us to be more like you and less greedy. Thank you for all the gifts you give us. Please help us to share them fairly with others. Amen. Right, this is our collective worship for today. Remember, work hard, be kind, look after yourself. I'll see you around right soon. Ooh, ooh, landed it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. My wheel fell off. <laughs> <laughs>